Hi guys, this is Mansi Varde and in this lecture series, I am going to teach you level 1 robotics. Okay, so what do you think? What are we actually going to make? We are going to make something like this, a remote controlled car. Well, it won't be as good as this one, but it will be good enough that you will enjoy playing it. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, what do you think is a robot? Now, when this word robot comes to your mind, what picture do you have? This, something like this. You say this is a robot. Yes, you are correct, but not completely. Do you know what is this? This is a car which is being painted by two machines. These machines are nothing but robots. They are robotic arms, a type of robot. Okay, then you know this, you will find such things usually on Nat Geo and Discovery channels. This is a robot again, which picks up the boxes and places it or stacks them. Right, that is a robot too. Then do you need, do you see this one? This is an assembly line. What do we have? We have different cars here. What is happening is the ready cars are going through the entire line and each arm you see is doing some or the other work, a different job which in turn makes the car. So these are also robots. Well these were like this robot that you see was in its place, these are in its place. This one can move, but there are some robots which can fly. Now, this is a drone. Now, news says that soon the delivery boys are going to be replaced by these drones. Won't it be exciting? So, these are also a type of robots. And our very own Mars rover, that too is a robot, a wheeled robot. So, all that you see on this slide, all that you see here, all of these things are robots. Now you can just think for yourself. You have certain robots in your day to day life too. The mixer grinder which you are using. That is also a robot. Well anything that simplifies or reduces human effort is a robot. But now what are we going to do? We are going to make the robot car. A wired robot car. So what do you think we'll need to make our car? Let's take a look at the components that we'll need. First of all, to make our bot move, that is uh, the robot car should move, right? So what do we need? We need wheels. So we are going to use these wheels. Okay. Two won't be enough. So along with it, there is a different type of wheel that we are going to use. This one, this is called as a ball wheel. What it does, how it functions, everything I'll be telling you all in the next lecture. But as of now, we are going to use these two wheels and this is a third wheel. Okay. Then, what do you think we'll need? We'll need something to make our wheels move. What are they? They are called as motors. So, these are the motors that we will be using. Now, what about these motors? This pink thing that you see is known as the shaft. Here our wheel will be connected like this. Okay. And then these two terminals are the connections of the motor. We will be connecting or supplying power to the motors through these terminals. We will see what it is, how it works and everything later on. But as of now just take a look at what are we going to use. Next, we'll need chassis. This is a chassis which is also known as the body of the robot. Now, here we will be connecting our motors and the wheel. So, wheel we'll have over here and the third wheel, the ball wheel will be fixed at this position. And so, our bot will be something like this with wheels at the sides and it will move back and forth. Okay. Now, after chassis, we need to make all the connections. So, we will need a few wires. 
some different types of wires which I will explain you all which are we using why are we using them and everything later on but as of now we will need wires then what do we need we need to control our robot so we will need switches two switches up down these are known as the DPDT switch that is dual pole dual throw I'll explain everything just understand now then we need this switch box now what this switch box does here we'll have the wires coming out and these holes are for nothing but to fix the switches so we'll have our switches placed like this and we'll be controlling the bot with these switches okay now we need to power our bot that is the most important thing without it the bot won't work so I am going to use this adapter or the AC to DC converter this adapter gives an output of 12 volt and 1 ampere and along with this adapter I am going to use this particular pin so with the help of this pin I will be able to connect my positive and negative so now that we have taken a look at all the components let's start to know which component is used and why is it used like let's know the use of all the components in detail 